host Keela and welcome to this week's edition of the Earth from Space programme from the ESA Web TV studios. This week, the Copernicus Sentinel-2b satellite takes us over Kyoto and Osaka. This striking false colour image captures two of Japan's larger cities, which are home to 1.5 and 2.7 million people respectively. Both are, of course, significantly smaller than the capital. Greater Tokyo has a population of around 38 million, making it the largest megacity in the world. The landscape of the Kyoto Prefecture varies from mountains and bamboo groves to waterfalls and forests. Vegetation is shown in vibrant shades of blue here, with built-up areas in yellow-red tones. Longer wavelength bands have been used when processing the image to make it easier to differentiate land cover, penetrate haze and identify bodies of water. Whilst almost three quarters of the country is mountainous, less than 10% is covered by bodies of water. Northeast of Kyoto, we can see Lake Biwa, located in the neighboring Shiga prefecture. This is the largest freshwater lake in Japan, covering an area of 672 square kilometers. The area is famous for being home to narizushi, the precursor to modern day sushi. The dish is thought to have originated in Southeast Asia around the second century AD. People began to prepare it in Japan between 8 and 10 AD. Funazushi, using nigorobuna fish, typical of the lake area, is prepared by fermenting and preserving the fish with rice and salt in barrels for up to a year. The result is a strong tasting dish, often compared to blue cheese and accompanied by sake. The ancient capital of Japan, Kyoto, can be seen in the top right of the image. Visitors from all over the world travel to the city, which is widely regarded as the cultural capital of the country. They are drawn by sites such as the Fushimi Inari Shrine, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, where more than 10,000 Tori gates stand in dedication to the Shinto god of rice. The multicultural food scene of Osaka, meanwhile, attracts foodies on the lookout for tasty street food and an insight into capo dining. Meaning to cut and to cook, this less formal cuisine focuses on bringing the diner and the chef together, with diners often given the chance to chat with the person who is preparing their meal. Over 100 member governments and 120 participating organisations will gather in Kyoto from the 29th of October to the 2nd of November for the Group on Earth Observations Week 2018. That's all for this week's edition of the Earth from Space programme. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again next week.